Hi, this is Jimmy here, and I'm a year three film and television student, and major is in camera. <clears throat> so today is I'm going to come here about like use the cell phone to make a movie, and use the real camera to make a movie. So for the real film set, you have to do like bunch of people it's like you got like a production team to support you and to make sure the location find the location and then make sure the location is going fine you do have a first AD on set to make sure you're not running behind and you also got a directors to direct the script you got a script writer also so this this is a lot of people's like on the film working on a film set just like for pre-production and for camera team you do have a gaffer for lighting and you have camera team as like first AC, second AC camera operator, DOP, like a lot of people to support to make sure the film's looking good. So for Elvis you actually don't have to need that much people to support you because Elvis is like a one-man crew so you only uh, like the only things you have to have is your cell phone some apps in your cell phone for sure and just find a good and, and your talented talented eyes that's all and for filmmaking, you have to spend a lot of time, like they got a lot of like difficult technician things like as like color grading, like that's for editors and it's, it will spend like maybe a week, a week to put all the footage together because you have to watch everything first, then you can edit them but for Elvis I mean it's more like a freestyle it doesn't have like any limit like you can't do that like for camera you can't cross the line and you can't like you can't make the frame like that because like you need a bit of headroom for that but for Elvis like just for your own project like you can just grab your cell phone like let me take an example like that like when when you when you wake up you think like oh the, the lamp next to you might look good so you just like so the lamp next to you looks good you just grab the cell phone and it should it and it can be part of your footage and someone talk about the resolution of like camera wheel film camera and iPhone uh, I mean and, and cell phone but like for iPhone they have like a 4k resolution just for shooting something and they have like slow mo they have slow motion and they have <clears throat> a lot of like interesting thing they got like layers on it and you can just like have fun with them and yeah I got the 4k like the new GH5 camera here that's my new baby for like preparing for the graph film. But yeah, I compare the things with the cell phone. Because I don't have a cell phone. I only got like, I only got a, a, a Huawei P9. Which is with like two Leica lenses on it. And it got a mode called like master mode. So you can just like shoot it and... It also got like ISO apertures on it and you can just like flip it on, play with that. And it also like really good. <clears throat> so like let me put back to the point. So <clears throat> for 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 mobile filmmaking, I mean it also takes a while to like you can, you still can do color grading like like after effect kind of things on your cell phone. They got that kind of F apps, but like it makes much easier than for the beginner or someone's like interesting to make a film or someone like 
like they just got their own they don't have like any helping hands and they can just like shoot a lot of like footage that they think they're cool so they, you, can, you can just like edit them together and whatever angle that you like like you can choose a low angle high angle you don't have to use a tr you don't have to use a track you don't have to use a dolly all you need is some like accessory like like a pole like a selfie pole just make it like aesthetic as you can so that's the elvis and also i mean if you have a crew for mobile phone mo for cell phone filmmaking that's like still cool you can still have a crew for that like just each people shoot something that they think they could they, they think that's cool so you can just like make it together and then to create a nice film for that i mean we've done it like during the class called the the virus project like working with the new mexican peoples around there it was really cool i mean i mean yeah for camera team you can't i mean everybody have to stand by if you don't have anything to do you just like wait but you can't leave like you can't just like do whatever you want on set because like you are crew so you have to be stand by but like for that project we just like do whatever just use the cell phone let's say in the morning and in the afternoon whatever like uh when when some ideas just pop in your mind you just shoot it just record it then put it just leave it behind then you just watch it i said oh that's an interesting shot so we, we we can use it later on so we got like a lot of example that like let the benefit for the for, for the mobile phone making so yeah that's pretty much like the difference between real film set and small screen thank you peace out <laughs>